Hello everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. Well, I'm excited because I'm going to try to do another dragonfly on this already prepared canvas, which I just um, painted with some gesso and a little bit of glitter paint just on the, on the edges. So for this dragonfly piece, I will be using Aldax Crystal Cast resin, and um, I I have um, well I will stick to, to the end of this video the way I actually mixed my resin just to make it a little bit easier for people who just want to. Uh, watch the process rather than um, you know waste time watching how it's mixed every time so I'll just pop it on the back of this video so you can see how I mix these um, so, oh, what, I'm, what I'm using is Pearl X powder so I'll be using powders in this one this is a super copper and it is a super copper so what I'm doing is I just popped a little bit in my resin I'm only using about 30 milliliters because I'm this is only going to be covering the actual um, <clears throat> uh, dragonfly rather than the whole canvas which I can always clear coat um, once this is done providing that it works well look how beautiful that is powders are really easy to use the only thing is but same with epoxy pigments, you know, some of them are a bit smelly, so you've got to, uh, not the powders, the epoxy pigments. Um, so it's good to wear some sort of a mask or something. But with these, because the particles of this powder are so, so, so tiny, they you don't even see them flying all over the place and you don't want to breathe them in. So make sure that you're well away or wear a mask, even better, um, and have your room your workroom ventilate it really really well okay so here we go mix it in this is another perlex and it's um a reflex violet very vibrant vibrant colors so make sure with powders that you mix it in really well you don't want any of the little granules but there shouldn't be granules if you get granules in your powder, that's not good. It's not a powder. So there we go. But you do need to mix them really, really well. So they look how pretty that is. So I've got those two. And I was going to use another powder, <coughs> which is a no brand powder. I just. Um, got it from, from China and I've tried this one it's really really beautiful vibrant and uh, kind of uh, once it's mixed it's um it's a very pearly pearlescent so I'm just mixing this in now so these ones are more metallic and the, the other two and this one is more pearl and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pearl. Just going to make sure that I mix it in really, really well. So that I don't get any unmixed bits of powder, clumps of powder. You don't want that. Okay, so I'm happy with this one, happy with this one. Might just add a little bit more of this to here. I'm going to use... Uh, Queen stick and just add about that much because I want it quite sort of like I want it um, not to be too transparent so do be careful with the amounts that you you put in now oh, that's it it's a, it's a deeper more vibrant violet now Mm, 
mixing, mixing, scrape on the side. And you can also get a good indication when you do scrape on the side and have a good look through to make sure that there's um, no unmixed bits. So that's what I do often. It only works on these um, see-through cups. <laughs> if you have a colored cup, you can't really see it that well. All right, so I've got that, I've got that. And I've got a little bit of white, and this is just a white paint. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'll give it a go. It's just a white paint, um, acrylic paint with a bit of Floetrol that I had left over from another acrylic core. So I'll give it a go. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, no big deal. So I'm going to be using my pipettes. So one, two, three, four. I've got four of them right here. Let's see how I go with this white. I'll just make sure that I get all of that resin in there. Some acrylics work really well. And some don't, and you will notice straight away if they don't work with your resin. Okay, so that's that. And I need a little stick. Oh, a clean one would be good. If I can get a clean one. Mixing this in just to see, and it's mixed in beautifully for now. We will see in a few minutes if it seizes up on me. It's a very, very transparent white, it's because it's been diluted down with lots of low chalk. So, okay, here we go. Let's go. I'm gonna get rid of these sticks. Oh, they're so beautiful. Love the pearls and the the metallics. They're just gorgeous. Might start with the the copper and just give this dragonfly a little shape. So I might I always go sideways, don't I? I might just go this way now. Just go down like so. Right there. Okay. And then, oh, I've got to stand up so I can see better what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of just draw a wing going that way and that way. And then this way and that way. Just it's, as you can see, a very, very um, freestyle. Okay, pop that one back in here. Get another pipette and do, I uh, might just do this lovely reddish and go straight over the top of it. And it looks like it's covered it, but we won't worry about that now. When you're using these pipettes, you have to be careful because you get bubbles, which can be annoying. And um, might need a thinner pipette. Here it is. Do this gorgeous violet. Right over the top again. So what I'm doing is I'm layering. You can leave it at this as is if you want. But I wouldn't be me if I didn't play with it some more. So let's 
get some of this white and this white is still fine it hasn't seized up on me which is great and try and get a pipette see I reused these pipettes so I kind of um, I cut the ends off them so they are they're all different sizes and trying to find a smaller one and okay can't find a smaller one so what I'll do is I'll use a syringe these are great as well and you can get rid of the the bubbles by pushing it out like that no bubbles they're just harder to use okay so I've got to go this way guys sorry oh definitely harder to use pipettes are much easier uh. okay oh I'm getting some really cool effects there ha <laughs> ha that's really awesome okay oh might add a little bit of this color just down the body maybe a bit there maybe there just to thicken it up a little bit make it a bit bigger and I'm dragging through it now um, oh, I, I do like that you got to do something about the top of the head maybe make it a bit rounder like so and hopefully it won't move and look ridiculous what I'm going to do is with this one just move it up a bit okay so what we can do now is we can just go like this Wow, this is looking really cool. So I want to pull it through so I've got all those colors through there as well. Like so. Isn't that so cool? You can even try and make some veins. Pull it down again just to extend that. Okay, little torching. So I'm not sure now because I'm getting some merging happening here which I can fix afterwards but that's not the point point is to get it right the first time so let's see what can we do actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use don't curse me now I'm just gonna try and extend this just make it all bigger turned around because it can't work that way and you won't be able to see how cool is that oh well that's really awesome now it's all pulling in naturally so I'm going to try not to To touch it now the only thing I want to do is maybe fix this area here same same thing I'm 
Okay. That's pretty awesome. Just going to extend this one, have it going a bit curled down here so it looks like a bigger body so it doesn't look too, you know, chubby and out of place. Got some really cool cells happening here. Very, very cool. Yep, that's looking really, really awesome. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I'm going to let that dry now and then when it's all dry and set I'm going to go around and fix the wings just with, uh, with a sharpie or paint. Sharpie is usually quicker so I'm just going to leave that there. Because I've got some extra paint left I might just do another dragonfly or another painting but this is it for this for now until the next um, next video where I will be actually finishing it off and, and tidying it all up. Okay, so here we go. My poor fella has gone all over the place. So not happy at all. So I'm going to fix him. That's pretty easy to do with a bit of um, play. So I'm just going to do that, just go around, fix one wing, then I'm going to go around here and fix the other wing, that should kind of go like, oh it's a bit longer than this one now. Alright, so we've got to move, let's fix that. This is just uh, a baby wipe, it won't affect your resin, if you use an alcohol wipe though it will. It'll just um, make it, um, it'll just dull it down so it won't look as shiny. Okay, so here we go, maybe like this. And you're going like that. So this is not a permanent pen, so it'll be fine. Just a guideline. Two big eyes here. Like so. Love my dragonflies. Absolutely love them. I believe they saved my sanity years and years ago when I got very sick and nobody knew what was wrong with me. So, okay, that's one. Now we're going to go from here straight over here and down here. Usually the top wing is um, larger, so it's all right. We'll just play with it, try and try and fix it. Same thing over here. Try not to make it so huge. Yeah, doesn't like the the wipe underneath okay so that's starting to look now like so that will be a bit of a body there and then we'll have to bring this one this will be all blocked all of that with resin so just got to bring the body up a bit or down whichever way you want to look at it and thin it down a little bit well they're usually thin they usually have a nice thin body but it doesn't really matter to us, does it? Because we are doing creative art and everything is beautiful that you create. Unless it's mean and nasty, that's not nice. Okay, so that can be even thinner there. We do have a bit of a body up here and then thin. So now that I've done that with this, just put a Fix that a bit, and we've got the the mouth sort of thing there. But they really have like these big, beautiful, big eyes that sit there, and not a, a lot of the neck. They just have these wings coming straight from there. All right. So 
now that I've done that I can go ahead with my permanent marker and just mark these areas off okay, so I can block that one because we're going to get resin going in there okay so resin is going to camouflage a lot of things this wing is going down like so and then round again we're going to make this wing a little bit smaller and come up here and give it a bit of a shape and then all of that is going to be covered and I can colour it in like so just to help that clear resin you don't have to put any any black just clear and it'll cover the whole lot let me now just twist it around a little bit and do the this bit and the same thing in a little bit block that area and then come out and just follow this line if you mess up um, with a with a pen that is if you even attempt to do this um, um, I, I just use um, a little brush and some alcohol and it'll wipe it off no problem there we go all the way up there and then that will be a bit of a body coming down and all of that's going to be blocked like so and see it's already looking like um, there's a bit of a shape to it and some of this is going to be blocked as well keep going the tail is going to be nice and thin so there's nothing really that you can't fix you you just have to be willing to to have a a go. And I've painted some really nice butterflies and dragonflies on a bigger canvas with resin and uh, never had to, to fix anything because I, I used a different technique and did it differently but if you do mess up don't worry too much it can be fixed everything can be fixed and nobody would know and I don't mind telling people look I've uh, messed it up and then I fixed it there's art in fixing things too you know and that's what you do now with the eyes I can do a little line and what to do what to do because the eyes are going to be black but then everything else is black okay I'm going to think about that how to fix that up unless so I just got my acrylic pen and always test on the side never go straight to your painting so what I can do is I can paint this dark because these are going to be eyes and that's drying nicely and then go around with the pen and just do a little because there's a bit of a highlight there so that you can see that they are actual eyes and also what you can do is because that's going to be black there just going to go around with 
this pin. Just to highlight that bit there. And also this bit here. Once resin goes there, it's going to fix in just to like a little line there, a little dot there, and maybe a little dot here as well. Okay. So now that I've done that, I might have to do some more somewhere. Just little highlights. Oh, doesn't like it here. Oh, there we go. And a little one maybe up here. Maybe one up here. It's just little highlights. We don't want too much. This is our resin painting with a little bit of tweaking. Okay, let me get handy. I'm pulling it to smooth, smoothen it, like so. And because I've overdone it there, what I do is just get my brush, dip it in a bit of alcohol, and then Pull that okay. There's a, a bit of fiddling, but this is why this is maybe more for more advanced people. People who are used to actual painting and not just pouring. So it's a little bit uh, on a tricky side for some people, but it's it's not impossible. It's um, quite fun to be able to be in control. All right. I know that this here looks a little bit deliberate. I am aware of that. So what I'm going to do is try to, to fix it a bit. Just to dull it down a little bit so it doesn't look too, too deliberate there, too sharp. Okay, so obviously I'm going to be getting rid of the that bit there. So I'm just picking up that that black with my brush and wiping it on my baby wipe. Just like that. So I'm just going to have to have a look at it a little bit and then see. Okay, welcome back. So all I did was I added some of these swirls just with the leftover few um, drops of resin that I had from another painting. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go around with this clear epoxy pigment and just... Um, cover these areas so it doesn't worry me if I go over the top of the dragonfly because it's clear and it's gonna it's gonna stay 
true to its color. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to go around with this and then you shall see. Also got some um, glitter that I just sprinkled around the edges to make it look a little bit magical and I might even sprinkle some more here because I think it needs a little bit there as well I can just pour a little bit there a little bit there just go all the way around and if they if they want to go over the wings then they can it's quite okay and I would like to get some over the edge as well. So yes, I think I will go over and just create a little bit of um, just a nice kind of depth because the dragonfly looks like he's, he's poking out, but he's not. So here we go, whole thing on. So there, there was only about 75 milliliters in this cup of clear resin. So you don't need a lot to put the final coat on because you're really only coating it. Make sure that you go around everywhere. can use your hand which is what I usually do you can see that beautiful green shimmer happening just there Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just looking sideways to make sure that I've covered everywhere, which I have, and I'm going to have to torch it a little bit. Oops. to tidy up that the edge and make it look nice ah. doesn't help when it moves This way. And you can pick them up off the, the bottom as well because you don't want any wastage here. Right. So that is that. Now I'm just going to go and find some nice shimmery glitter and um, sprinkle some in that black so it looks like it's a night, a magical night. Magical night flight. There you go. Okay. I've got some lovely multicolored glitter here. So I'm going to try and gently sprinkle it around. So I'm keeping well away from this. I don't want any of these particles to 
to you know to, to breathe in okay I'm just going to go around here and I might have to do it a little bit differently up here let's just sprinkle it like a like I'm salting some there sprinkle 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 right around I don't want any on my magical dragonfly well some of it just went on it magical starry night and this can also cover some of the imperfections so there's a bit of a difference in in color in here that you can see there's a darker black and a lighter black so I'm just camouflaging that I actually do like this one yeah it's my dog she's a killer which is a tiniest little thing but watch out oh there goes the other one ok try to wipe my hand oh yes that's pretty cool ok so I've got to get this just got to try and get rid of some of the glitter that fell onto this fella now I could have gone glitter over the top of him like I did with my last dragonfly but I thought I'd make it a little bit different so what I want to do here is see how they're clustering here I just want to move it a little bit just want to um, kind of spread them out a little bit so it looks doesn't look too um, clumped there in one one spot you know that's really cool that glitter that's so different to to this other stuff And you can see here where I had that uh, permanent marker that its uh, resin is melting through it. I hope it stops there and doesn't ruin my my eyes. Um, but otherwise, it's it's looking quite nice. Pleased with it. I'm just trying to move some of this glitter out here because it keeps wanting to go on the body. All done. So what I have to do is I got to keep an eye on the glitter because if it starts moving in more into the the body, then I'll just have to play with it a little bit and and move it around. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hope you like my dragonfly series. Uh, we'll probably stop here for a little while and and do something else because I'm still testing these different pigments. Um, so, ooh, we've got some leakage here I can use. Don't waste any. Um, yeah, so quite excited about these uh, the new pigments that I'm looking at, and I will be looking into distributing them, um, setting up a distribution center in in America. Especially with the the epoxy pigments or uh, pigment pastes which are really hard to find in America and it costs a lot of money to ship from Australia so I'm working with um, a dear friend who lives in America at um, setting up something so she can distribute these um, gorgeous 
pigments that I will be introducing soon um, so you can all um, enjoy them without having to pay too much money for shipping okay so stay tuned for that if you're not already in my Facebook group do join us it's a wonderful group you can share your art meet other people and just um, hang around and learn something new or share what will you know uh, it's called uh, fluid art community with Susanna Danks that's my name and I'm often in there but I do have helpers who were always there ready to to jump in and give a hand okay and if you want to see any of my art and updates or anything like that uh, find me on Instagram at Susanna Danks artist and what else website SusannaDanks.com so pretty much if you just google my name <laughs> you'll find me okay I love you all keep creating guys